Hi, friends, and welcome to our latest edition of Keeping Up with the Jackrabbits. Hope you had a wonderful 4th of July weekend. I'm Tyler Merriam, and we are joined by one of the all-time greats in Jackrabbit women's basketball who is returning to the program, Mitchell Zone, Macy Miller. Macy, how are you? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. Well, thank you for being a part of this. My first question, and I've asked you a lot of questions over the years. I've never asked you this one, so I'm excited to get the answer. What's it like to be called a goat? <laughs> you know, I've never really thought about it, but um, it's obviously pretty special, um, especially coming from you. <laughs> Yeah, okay. We we definitely have to have some discussions on the side then about some money if you're throwing out those kind of compliments. But the the uh, you certainly had such a tremendous career here, and I don't need to tell Jack Urban Nation all the accolades, the greatest scorer in school history, and the 12-0 and in the Summit League Tournament and all of that, but that support from the fan base, now that you've had some time to play other places, to take a step back and really get to think about that, what did that mean to you? Oh, it means a lot. Um, Jack Rabbit Nation is truly incredible. And I know I said this um, millions of times, just how special and meaningful they are to me. But, you know, when I go other places, it's a sport that Jack Rabbit Nation has is incredible. And, you know, I'm forever thankful for it. And um, it's just, like I said, it's just something very special. Tell me about Spain and what that was like. Yeah, it was a very, very good experience. Um Obviously, you're going to a different country all alone by yourself. And, you know, being from Mitchell is never too far from home, being from Mitchell to Brookings. And so going to Spain was a very different experience, but I'm so glad I did it. And I met some great people and great coaches along the way. Do they have a Qdoba in Spain? No, they don't. That was very disappointing. I was going to say, how'd you get by, Mace? <laughs> yeah, I don't even know how to order it. So <laughs> <laughs> so what, what was your favorite food? What did you dine on in Spain? So one of my favorites, okay, this is going to be really weird because when I heard it, I was like, that sounds disgusting. But um, it was white rice with a fried egg on top and then tomato sauce. So when you first think that you think of it, that's disgusting, but it was really good and I had it all the time. <laughs> really? Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, so, th so that's a popular uh, flair down in, in Spain. Yes. Okay. Yep. Well, see, you, you're you're burgeoning from your Mitchell roots, <laughs> and that's wonderful. Yeah. That's wonderful to hear. So th the time in Spain was productive, obviously. Yeah. Uh, yes. But for those who may not be aware, you obviously always have wanted to play basketball, but you've had the coaching bug for quite a while too, right? When I was playing college basketball, I never really thought about you know after after that basketball life. Like, what was I going to do after? And so. Um, it was probably like January when AJ contacted me. We were just kind of going back and forth about what I wanted to do after basketball. And he kind of brought up coaching and being a GA. I was like, you know, this would be a great experience. I'm not going to turn down an opportunity at a D1 school, especially SDSU. So I was like, I'd love to do coaching. Like, I'd love to get back into it and be back in a program that gave me so much. What's it going to be like? to be sitting just down the bench from AJ as opposed to being on the floor with AJ? You know, you know it'll be different, but I'm excited to learn from him. And um, like you said, it'll be weird sitting there and not actually getting yelled at on the court, but I can actually sit and watch him yell at other people. <laughs> well, now, hey, you, you still got to do your job, right? Or else you might get yelled at yeah. too. You never know, Mace. Yeah, yeah. What, what's, what, what's the biggest thing you learned from AJ as a player? Um, I mean, obviously, there's a lot of things to take away from him, but um, how to be a leader was a big one I took away from it. Um, having my quiet personality and not really wanting to be outspoken, um, he really pushed me to my limits and just helped me to be outspoken, be a better leader. Um, I always wanted to lead by example, but he, you know, he kind of helped me to speak more and just kind of not be afraid. I don't think people that are outside the program understand how good of a motivator he is. Give me an example of how he's motivated you during your time as a Jackrabbit. Um, I'd just say just anything. Um, he always pushes you to be your best. You know, you come in and, you know, obviously you're your best at your in your high school, but you come here and everyone's good. And, you know, with as successful as a program that he's had, I mean, look how many people he's pushed to be their best and just see how, great jackrabbit basketball has been 
Now, when are we going to have a game of horse involving the coaching staff? And tell me who's going to win this game of horse. Because you got, obviously, you got Rodert and yourself, yeah. two legends. Yeah. Jewett's a sleeper in this thing. Uh, I don't okay, know. So Go ahead. Don't let, don't let Mike tell you that he's beat me before because he's been telling people <laughs> that we've had a shooting contest and he's beat me and he has not. He has claimed so, that before to me, yes. Yes, so we will have this very soon because I want to win this thing and, you know, tell everyone, tell them that he cannot be. Well, I tell you what, you just look in recent history. I mean, some of the individuals who have spent time on the Jackrabbit bench that were shooters, Deborah Emerty was here for a year, obviously one of the all-time great women's basketball players ever. Uh, Rodert and yourself, just to name two, Sidney Palmer certainly was no slouch when it came to being able to shoot the basketball. This has been mm-hmm. pretty elite company here. And then you have Jewett as well. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, what, what about Carissa? Where she fit into this? You know, she's she's a sleeper, I think, as well, too. I mean, quiet, but, you know, she'll knock down those shots and take people out. And take people out. I mean, like, knock them out of the game. Okay. <laughs> I, I just wanted to clarify that. I noticed, we did, I noticed you have not ranked AJ among the top competitors in this game. You know, um, he could be up there as well. He's, he's always knocking down shots before I shoot around. <laughs> so, you know, he'll surprise a lot of people. How cool is the half court tradition at the end of those shoot arounds? Oh, it's a really big deal. It gets pretty competitive. Um, I remember one time after shoot around, the score was wrong, and like people were going yelling at each other, like, telling them it was wrong. But no, it's a really cool experience. Just it's the players against the coaches. So by the end of the year, you want to be, you know, obviously leading the other group. So it's you know when you make a shot, it's a big deal. We celebrate that thing. And the players, of course, have an inherent advantage because you have roughly twice as many people. Exactly. But the coaches also get our practice players, so they have a pretty fair amount. And they'll grab other staff, too. You know, they'll grab radio guys or trainers or anybody with a pulse. I mean, really. And I think sometimes the pulse is even optional. that's sitting there in the gym. (laughs) That's right. They'll they'll take whatever. Is there a secret to a half-court shot? Um, You know, I just kind of... Run up there and chuck it up there. <laughs> I really don't think about it. <laughs> okay, now now I have to ask. I know we're joking about half-court shot, but when it came to the way you actually played the game and the way you would, uh, whether it was a pull-up or you would attack the rim to score, uh, how much of that was natural instinct? How much of it did you think out, hey, okay, I'm going to drive on this possession? Take me through that element of your game. I'd say a lot of it is natural instinct. Um I don't know. The game just kind of comes to you. Um, you just kind of, you're making a move. All of a sudden you're like, hey, this will be a good shot. Or, hey, I'm going to go in for a layup. Like, it, it's hard to explain because it's just all natural instinct. In practice, who guarded, in practice. You, who, who guarded you the best in practice? Maddie Giebert, for sure. Why? I know we joked about her, like about AJ telling her that she's like not athletic, but she is a very good defender. Like, she can move her feet. She's fast. It was always, I was always mad when she was guarding me in practice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so we've talked a little bit about this, but you are back now uh, in Brookings as a member of the women's basketball staff. And, and what are you most looking forward to here uh, in the coming year? I think it's going to be cool just to see the other side of things, just see the coaching side, what goes into it, how they make a, such a successful program. So I'm excited to see the other side. Now, I've been told by certain individuals the main reason you accepted this gig was the opportunity to work hand-in-hand with Kristen Roeder. I will not suggest who said that, Macy, but that <laughs> was told imagine. to me. But, <laughs> uh, but, that, that's a, but in all honesty, to have somebody like Roeder who, you know, mm-hmm. who played just like yourself, that's, that's a very unique situation to have multiple people who played for AJ as a part of the staff, which we used to have with Sydney, and now we have with you and Kristen both. Yeah, and I think that's that's so cool just to see that people that have gone through the program are just as excited to come back and help out. I mean, you just see how great the program is. Well, Mace, it's always good to catch up. It's going to be fun when we get through all this to be able to see each other on a regular mm-hmm. basis again. I can't wait for that. <laughs> Macy, thank you and take care, all right? Thank you. She's Macy Miller. I'm Tyler Miriam. Thank you for joining us on Keeping Up with the Jackrabbits. Thank you.